Hello YouTube, JoJo3102 here, and I have another video for you today. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing today is a comparison uh, showing video. Um, and what I wanted to do is I'm going to show the Spyderco Delica 4 in stainless steel. Okay, uh, which is has been previously reviewed on my channel here, uh, along with the Bird Kara, or no, I'm sorry, the Bird Meadowlark. Okay, now if you look at these two knives, and this is what I was looking at one time before and I want to make a video on it. If you take a really good look at these knives at first glance, you would say that they are basically the same knife. Okay, as far as shape. As far as size, blade shape, everything would be about the same for these two knives. Except that one is $80 and the other is $30. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at some of the differences and similarities that I found interesting in uh, these two knives. Now, first of all, we're going to take a look at the blades. Um, if you'll notice, the blade shape is very similar to each other. Okay. Uh, the first thing you will know that this is a saber grind. This is full flat ground. Okay. And if you take a really close look at the blades, uh, you'll notice that this comes at a, or I'm sorry, the bird knife comes at a more at a steeper angle. Okay. Now that may be because of the way, I'm not sure if that's just the way they made it, because of the way the grind is, but you'll notice the significant how this blade comes down at a steeper angle as this one kind of trails out a little bit more to that point. Okay? Uh, next thing, other than obviously the holes, uh, the spider hole and the bird, I just call it the bird hole. Some people say it looks like a teardrop or an eye or claw, I just call it the bird hole. So the bird hole and the spider hole, okay, um, you will take a look at what we're looking at here in steel wise is, what is that, 8 CR 13 MOV steel, yeah, 8 CR 13 MOV steel versus VG10, okay. So, you take a look, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but there you can see the difference just a little bit in that shine on, on there. To me, this one is a little bit duller than the VG10. Uh, they are a little bit dirty blades. I do have fingerprints on them. And, you know, um, but I think that this, to me, this blade is a little duller than the VG10. Okay? Uh, moving on. Alright, sorry about that. Memory card got a little full. Um, but I think I was about to talk about moving on down the blade, down to the handle a little bit. Um, uh, the next thing you'll notice here, uh, are the choils. Uh, the finger choils here. Uh, for the bird knife, you notice a more rounded choil here with some jimping where your finger rests right in there. Uh, on this one, the, it's rounded here at the hilt, but then where the blade is, it's a little straighter. So it gives it kind of an awkward V shape so that when you choke up on the blade, you can choke up on it. And it's a little bit almost triggery almost like this is your trigger this is where your hand or rest is but it's not very comfortable this here on the bird knife is a lot more comfortable and natural when you choke up on the blade okay uh, again here on the back the thumb ramps you will notice that the spider go has a more aggressive ramp that which goes up uh, and then the bird has a more rounded less aggressive, more, uh, less aggressive, uh, upward mo motion for the, for where your thumb, for the thumb ramp. Uh, both are really nice. Um, the jimping goes, as you can see here, 
on the bird knife goes all the way up to right where the curve hits of the spider uh, spider hole. I'm sorry, the bird hole, and down to the rest of the back of the blade, the spine of the blade. And then here on the spider co, it comes up, and then there's a bit of smoothness here at the round top for the rounded part. Um, both kind of lock up very nice. Um, the spider co is a little bit rougher than the yeah, the spider co is a little bit rougher uh, texture than the the bird knife than the bird uh, metal arc is. Okay, so moving on down to the blade to the handles, as you'll notice here at the top of the handles, the spider co handle is a little more rounded. And then the bird knife is a little flatter, a little more squared off here at the edges. Okay, and a lot of this roundness comes from the way this choil comes into the handle. As you can see, it's rounded off here, and then it's rounded the opposite direction here. This one goes over. This one comes in. Okay, the pinholes for the uh, for the pocket clip are about the same adjustment. Okay, continuing on down the handle. Uh, both do have a liner lock. Or, I'm sorry, both do have a back lock. As you can see, they do have the dent for both of them. Okay. Let's get that in there. Um, as you look, you can see the difference in the shape of the handle. This is the bird knife here. This is the spider co on the left. Um, you can see where here where your th first two fingers will go. If you hold it back here, it's nice and rounded out for the shape of your fingers. Okay? And then when you get here to this middle part where your last, to your middle finger, or your ring finger and your pinky will go, you'll notice that on the spider co, or I'm sorry, on the bird knife, it's a little bit flat. And then here on the spider co, it's a little more rounded out. Okay? So it gives a little bit more ergonomics. Same thing with here, it goes the opposite. Whereas on the bird knife, where your thumb may rest, is a little rounded out. And where your thumb rests on the spider co is a little flatter. Okay, coming down to the butt of the knife, you'll notice the obvious difference of the lanyard hole. This here accommodates for where the pocket clip is adjoined to the to the to the to the scales or to the or to the handle itself. This one doesn't take it into account. It sets the lanyard hold off by itself. So a little more end, you get right to the end with your lanyard. Whereas this one you have a lot more purchase. Your lanyard's covering over a lot more of the knife here. Okay? Um, you get right down to the butt of the blade. You'll notice here how it's a little more rounded at the bottom on the spider co. And then it's kind of almost a half round. Almost making like a, a J shape. Here that accommodates to this, you know, where it's rounded out here for your pinky. Coming here on the back, you will see when you line them up, you will see the difference that the bird knife, the handle itself is shorter than that of the spider co, which means that the whole knife itself is about a half inch shorter than the spider co. Okay? Um, blade thickness, going back up a little bit, the Spyderco is thicker, blade thickness is thicker than that of the Metal Art. Okay, but continuing on down, back spacers, line up, there's your back lock all the way down here. Okay, from the side, your clips look about the same, uh, I believe they are about the same clip. Uh, this is just the way they attach them that makes them different in this in the stamp for uh, the spider co stamp. Okay. Coming around to the front here. Again, you can just see slight differences in the two knives. But these are just a couple of little things, you know. I think the bird line kinda follows the spider co line. If you took a, the if you take a good look at the care care two, it would resemble an Endura the metal art here resembles the Delica, uh, so forth. And I think uh, the Sparrow, maybe, or the Raven, one of them represents the, uh, the Dragonfly. So these are just a few of the differences and similarities in the two knives. 
of the Delica and the Metal Arc. Okay? So they are both here open. And they are both closed. Both very good knives. You know, I picked this one up um, earlier this year, or last year, beginning of last year, uh, for 80 bucks. Uh, this one was actually a was sent to me by Spidey Guys for a mistake in an order that they made. Okay, so just a couple of differences, some similarities to the knives. This one is smaller than the Spider Co. Uh, but you know, a very good knife it works really well. It is made in China. Okay, so if you don't like that fact, you know this isn't going to be a knife for you. None of the bird line is going to be for you if your blade made it made in China is an issue okay but this one is made in Seki City Japan okay still not an American made knife but it is made in Japan alright so that's it um, hope you enjoyed this video hope that gave you a little bit of a look on two differences of the two knives and as always YouTube thank you and peace